The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, as we go through the history of this Christendom, it is most essential for us to note the way these people, they have ruined the word of the Lord not to be number one priority in the pulpits, either in the old of the Roman Catholicism or at present today's Protestantism. People are no longer interested for doctrine. Rather than doctrine, people are indulging themselves, which doesn't have any value at all in this world. Therefore, if anyone could hear the word of the Lord in Deuteronomy 17.18, in comparison with Revelation 1.6 with 1 Peter 2.5, when they are being called as the kings of our Lord, then into the kingdom of God through his grace, every believer have to write at least once the Bible. The point in telling to you all again and again is that each and every word has to be memorized in your soul. Each and every word has to be taken into your inner spirit by the teaching mentor, ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, by a right pastor, teacher, if you can attain after writing it. Or, if you are writing it, Lord alone will make you to understand what is exactly in that word. Therefore, dear brethren, you can understand some of the things. But the bona fide gifted pastor, teacher from the head of the department of the church, who is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, until and unless he makes the points clear to you, you will be jumbled off and you will be really in great jam. As you grow up to write in a day-by-day -day verse, so you will learn to become and you will be aware of the importance of the word of the Lord. Therefore, in Romans chapter 1 verse 1, which says to us, he has been severed, he has been separated. The great definition where many of the people might have not known a definition to tell that you have now a true meaning, a true purpose. Now you have been separated not to be like a childish or a kiddish one, but rather to be involved in the true word of the Lord. And furthermore, we need to have to be the true slaves of God to understand the things pertaining to Christ. The things that we have to take place in Revelation 1.1, 1, 1, John Apostle tells to us that those who are slaves of God, for them this is unveiling is been given to them. If you are not a born slave to Christ, never you can understand what is the thing pertaining in Revelation. And furthermore, we need to know that which has been handled and tested, the word of the Lord, have to be our true fellowship. And above all, we need to know the thorough knowledge which our Lord has told to do and to teach both in the realm of Acts 1.1. 1, 1. Dear brethren, this is what you and I have to learn. Even in the lessons of Jeremiah, what we can come, we can come to the point of understanding. If it is not in the word of the Lord, if it is not in the water, that lion belt of Jeremiah chapter 13 verse 1, then that belt wouldn't have been decayed. The specifically ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, writing there and mentioning water, if that belt which have been taken from their lion, if it would have been put in the water, maybe it wouldn't have been marred. Water represents the word of the Lord. Therefore, he tells very clearly a specification to Jeremiah, Lord God the Father, telling to him very specifically, see that you do not dip, dip this belt in the water. Water represents the word of God. The people where they are not with the word of the Lord will happen the same thing that has happened to the belt which has been mentioned. Therefore, dear brethren, why we need to perish in that way? We all have been made to be one in all through God the Father, through his beloved Son who indwells in us, one in all through the boldness of access by the Spirit. And all things work together for good to those who have been loving God and why we need to worry about the things. Therefore, dear brethren, 
Let us heed upon the directions which our Lord has given to us. Let us take upon to the perfection and accomplishment in the will of God, so that Lord and Savior Jesus Christ might be glorified. So which way you want to go, you decide. Which way you want to think, you decide. But remember to know, if it is not by the word of the Lord, then there is nothing you can ever understand. It has to be purely by the ministry of God, get the Holy Spirit, and it has to be more specifically to write the word of the Lord, preferably upon your knees, and honor back him because the Roman Catholics never gave the Bible till to the 15th century and now though we have the Bible we are not giving that which is due unto the glory of the Bible at least when he calls us as kings as kings every believer has a privilege and it is a binding duty upon him that he has to write and if he is not writing then he will not be as a king in the sight of God and this revolution which they have to get has been hidden over 2000 years back and now we can get back and learn and thank God and we should start writing at least once our Bible. So which way you want to go, you decide. We shall continue in the next step. Father, we grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with through the word. We pray that, Lord, God, the Holy Spirit lend us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.